It's the Cam Texas Day One. I'm here with an old friend, Andy North. Andy, good day to Hello, you. Hello, sir. Good to see you again. It's good to see you too. We've never met face to face, have we? Unbelievable. We've had plenty of interviews across the pond For and years. across the screens. For years. Yes. You've turned up here. You're back with us now after a yep. few years at Accounting Web. How does it feel? Have you landed? I have. I'm back. And I'm <laughs> I love. I love a conference. Yes. I have had so many good conferences, and it's great to just. The, the energy is brilliant. I love it. Well, I, I've got to ask you about the face to face. We've been offline, if you like, for a while and yep. doing it virtually, but. I know you love the face-to-face -face stuff, oh, shaking yeah. hands, seeing the whites of their eyes. Yeah, yeah, it's the, I don't know, it's just a buzz, and I cannot get enough of speaking to these customers of ours that are, are fans, and I've never seen that before. I've come to this show, it's the first time when I've actually been representing a vendor, and I didn't really believe that people coming up, just there was a lady came <laughs> up earlier and just went, I will never leave you. And you personally or tax calculator? I hope it meant tax calculator yeah, sure. as opposed to me. Um, I didn't think that really kind of happened, but it's happened dozens of times. I think they call them evangelists, Andy, don't they? They're super fans. Yes. They're super fans, and I'm fans of them too. Well, tax calc, it's a new direction for you, but you've had your feet under the table for a while now. Yes. Tell us how it's yeah, all yeah, going. Yeah. It's fascinating, learning a whole lot. Um, well, you've been in this game a long time. Uh, 20 years. You know the accounting fintech world. It's been, yeah, it's too much, which is, yeah, too long in, in this world. But, um, no, but learning in it from a different side has yeah. been fascinating. So, looking at the journey of where our customers are looking to, that we want to go. So, we've released FRS 102 uh, disclosures. Um, that will be coming out in the tail end of this year. When you look at Accountex now, and you've been to many in the past, yep. do you get a sense of the vibe of, it's a bit bigger, there's been some budgets, people are spending more, they're going larger. Um, definitely, I mean, we're seeing, I mean, I this have... This is bigger than ever before for tax calc, I'm sure. Uh, uh, this, or oh, yeah, this is our standard oh, Okay, so, oh, for, I take so. that back then. <laughs> you always go big. We've got to go big, but, um, yeah, I mean, I spent, say, six years in seeing the US shows, yes. which were phenomenal. Yeah. Um, this is big compared to those, sure. I think. You know, so Why is that, do you think? There's more of them in the US, okay. and people have to fly. Um, you know, it's you go there for four days, and yeah. it becomes a, a holiday, whereas this is kind of a drop-in for one or two days. Population day. density helps then, clearly. Yeah, yeah. but then they, get, they do them in New Orleans, and Las like Vegas and the San Bahamas Diego. and Las Vegas, yeah, yeah so they're cool. A bit cool. more glamorous. Well, you're doing it for four days rather than for like one day. Yeah. Um, but the size of this and the number of vendors is huge. I mean, considering the US, how much bigger the US is. Yeah. Now, your role, Andy, it's commercial. Do you get involved in the conversations around, we're putting this big stand on, we're going to take 20, 50 people out of tax cut for a couple of days. It's a big investment, isn't yes, it? Do you get huge, involved in that and, and making the business case? How do you get ROI from things like that? We, I don't think there would be a case of us not being here. Sure. I mean, you want to be seen, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's that. difficult to record ROI. We try and keep record who's come out, but to be able to actually define a, a, a definite ROI from it yeah. is is always tricky. Um, there are too many intangibles, aren't there? Yeah, I mean, people will come along and then they might not come back for three months, and you know, it can be very difficult. But just, I don't think there will be a business case to not do account tax. It's been. I've spoken to so many people, just myself today, saying, hey, I'm spending six figures with another vendor, and we can do it for a third of that. Yeah. And you see their faces light up. I like that, I'll pay for that. Yeah. <laughs> Sign <laughs> Sign that experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. when you look at the, the difference between Accountex and the other events, yeah. there is something special about this, isn't there, which means, as you mentioned earlier, you don't want to not be here. You would be missed. Oh, yeah. I by think, your customers. Yes. Oh, yeah, people have anyone. come to say, we want to see you. We yeah. came to see you here, and I need to go through this, and yes. that's why they're here. Um, so you're keeping them close? Yeah, and I think with this being, this is the biggest event, and I know there are others, um, I think having that singular one means that, you know, you, you, 
you put your eggs in that basket, yeah. really, yeah. 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 What excites you about what's happening with tax calc at the moment? Good question. I know I, there's a lot of things that you're involved in. The biggest thing we're, we're really pushing is, is, is MTD. So okay. I've been working with Making Dean. tax digital for our international viewers and Making listeners. Making tax digital, yeah. yeah. But that digitization of tax is starting to happen globally, isn't it? I think what we're doing, I mean, certainly having spent time in the States, yes. where literally nothing happened in terms of the, the whole time I was there, there was no significant change to the way that the IRS correct, collects taxes. Not a bump in the road or nothing. Still, we're going to use checks wow. and we're going to do it in a paper format. Yeah. And that was the way they're doing it. Over here, you know, I went through IXBRL, uh, auto enrolment in pensions, RTI for payroll, MTD for VAT, MTD for ITSA. It's just a rolling series of massive changes. Yeah. And the US did nothing in the whole time I was there. <laughs> are they lagging behind then, Andy? Are we blazing a trail here in the UK? I think so. I mean, I know other European countries are doing a similar thing, uh -huh. but certainly comparing the US, and I know your viewerships are a lot in the US, it's it's stagnant. Yeah. You know, I was blown away when I got over there and they said, yeah, the IRS are going to cut you a cheque for your tax refund. And I was like, really? <laughs> are they? Can they not? Just, yeah, they, and eventually they, they could pay it in. I hope you put that money in on your spreadsheet as well, your actual Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I've written it down in pen. <laughs> in your notebook. Uh, in my notebook. But, <laughs> yeah, it's that blew me away. I think they are lagging behind yeah. uh, so in the efficiency of the whole So you've thing. landed a tax cut now. You see the competitors around, even in this room right now, you've yeah. got competition. What makes you confident you've picked the right horse in here and you are in the right place? Without a doubt, the response, the, the reception that I get from the, the, these customers who come onto our. Right. I've never experienced anything like it. The, the positivity, the way, even if there is a problem, they want to work through the problem. Okay rather than go, this is not for me. They want to work through it with us. And I, I say, I didn't think that happened. So I'm confident. That, that experience has blown me away, it really has. So yeah, that would be my answer to that. You're talking to accountants, bookkeepers all the time, Andy. What would you say were the key attribute skills they're going to need to stay relevant and competitive over the next few years? Very good question. I think the biggest challenge for, that I can see is going to be the MTD transition. Okay. And, and I hear a lot about, you know, oh, this is an opportunity for accountants to re rebuild their firms. To They're be honest, spinning it that way, I they? don't really buy that. Okay. I'm, I see a lot of accountants going, I just need to get through this and survive it. And I don't think, I think that the challenges for those accountants is going to be how they can communicate with their clients. How do they actually explain to the, what MTD is going to be in a way that their accountant A, takes notice yeah. and B, believes them. I mean, I'm, I'm genuinely hearing people, accountants, sending out letters to all of their clients to explain <laughs> MTD, and their clients are not believing them. No. I think that's the big challenge for the short term, medium term, is going to be that, bringing their clients with them. Because no, HMRC aren't doing any significant uh, education. Well, they've deferred it for a year, haven't they, anyway? But they're, yeah, they're not talking to the businesses about it right. in any meaningful way. Yeah. So why does a plumber or a taxi driver suddenly start asking questions about MTD? They get a letter from their accountant and they've got to try and piece it together. Yeah. I think that's going to be the biggest single challenge I can see. So is it a burning platform yet? Is it a burning platform? Are people going to have to do something else? They'll go out of business, they'll go obsolete, they'll cease I, to be I, relevant. I just think it's going to be very, very difficult because when if you wait until January 24 and then start telling your clients they've got to keep digital records and do more, you're too late, you're going to be in trouble. So I think, yeah, there is that, that burning platform, yeah. I think, yeah, totally. And with tax cut, what excites you most about the next few years, Andy? Have you seen what's coming up? I have seen some of what's coming out. I can't tell you everything. Absolutely. But there I'll is sign a, the NDA. But yeah, we've got, as I say, we've got FRS 102. That's going to be a, a big challenge for us because it's going to. We, we're responding to 
of the demands we're getting from, from somewhat larger firms who we didn't really expect necessarily a few years ago to be coming on board um, are coming on board and they've got demands and we're catering for those and catering for those will mean more demands that we have to cater for. But we also want to focus on that the, the heartland, our smaller firms who have been put, we, we're developing significantly to improve those uh, the, the, the tax return, the accounts production, to make that as efficient as possible for the smaller firms as well. And, you know, there's, there's a lot to be done, but we're yeah. going to do it. Yes, well, you've got an appetite for the fight. Are you just UK, Andy, or is there an international remit here at Tax No, Cal? we are purely UK, okay. so I, I've lost my, my trip to the US. Well, all of that, that little red book of contacts you've got in the I US, know. that's I've got all friends used. over there. You have. Can I, can I, can I tell my book as well? You, yes, tell, <laughs> tell us all about it. Are you doing any talks while you're here? I'm personally not, no. I've just done a quick session, but I'm not doing any keynotes. Well, is your book live? We've spoken about it before, and you said, let's talk more when it goes. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's being launched in the US this week. Um, uh, Accounting Web Live. Working title? Working title is it's avoiding, account, uh, avoiding Accounting Apathy. And it's designed for people who are working in and selling to accountants and helping them to understand why accountants uh, perhaps aren't moving in the direction that the vendor expects. So there's a, I think there's a lot of misunderstanding from vendors who expect accountants to jump on technology, sell it to their clients, but that's not happening. No. So we're trying to debug why. I work with uh, uh, one from Gainer, Gainer Mikey, uh, who is in the US. Yeah. She has, we've co-written this book and it's out. On Amazon now. We'll get your special interview on the Accounting Influencer podcast to talk about it. Yeah. But just to finish with Andy, give us a flavour of the book and give us giving us one reason why accountants are a little bit apathetic to be advocates for vendors to use their stuff to talk about their stuff to clients. I think there's a whole lot. I mean, I've written a book on this. Really? Uh, yeah. Tell uh, me about so it. I did pull that up. <laughs> no, there are many. It's multifaceted. We get that, but give us one of them. This I, is a flavour. I think it's the misunderstanding that the accountant is a salesperson or a representative. I mean, I see vendors who lump together channel and accountants right. in the same individual often. So they're effectively saying uh, these guys are resellers, treating them as a reseller. Now, a reseller, you know, wonderful. They make their money by reselling other products. Accountants have another business that is predicated on the trust they have with that client. So to misunderstand that is to fundamentally make an error. So that's one of the points we make. In the yeah. Final question, Andy. What excites you most about the next few years in the accounting fintech world? In the accounting fintech world, I think there's going to be a lot of change. I think there's going to be a lot of new... I love to see these new vendors coming to market, bringing out new products, automation, uh, particularly around payments, uh, particularly around um, the, the, that... Uh, yeah, the, the fintech world, payroll as well. Um, I'm just interested to see, it reminds me of back in the early 2000s when we had 54 vendors of cloud tech, cloud accounting. Those were the days. Yeah, I mean 54 <laughs> there were, and now there's kind of probably a dozen that are even viable. There's another surge in, in that fintech world, payment providers in particular, and I think we're going to see that shake out, yeah. and that'll be really interesting because two or three will emerge and sustain, and, and others will will will. Well, you've, you've done twenty odd years, Andy. If you can last another five or so, you might I think see I'm, all of I, I, I'm on my last legs. Yeah. I'm on my last legs. Well, it's been great to talk to you as always, Andy. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so my much. Friend. Thank you.